Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, plumbers. Happy Sunday. Bear with me as I film with my cell phone. I'm on emergency heat call right now. Sunday morning, 8 o'clock. I just got done the firehouse. And I put two Navions in a couple years. Hmm, probably four to five years ago now. And... He sent me some pictures and it looks like the condensate line is clogged and rotted, which might be causing the heater to shut down. He definitely doesn't have no heat. So we're here now. I'm gonna try and get the shots with my cell phone. So bear with me and we'll take a look at what we got. I think I did make a mistake of using copper for the condensate lines, which I think it's a no-no. So we'll see what we got. And we'll see you inside when we get there. We show it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. This could be the bad and the ugly on my part. Let's find out. Alright, here's what we got. We got a condensate line that is blown out. You see that. Ready? Yes, sir. Real slow. The heat's working though, right? The heat is. It's been, it's been working all night? Okay, here it's dripping now. Let it run. Alright. She's running. Okay. All right. Obviously, I'll let the changes condensate line. Is there anybody upstairs too? This one's bad too. I'll we'll change that. No, let it run. Right. It's running nice, right? See, here's the thing. I don't know what happened yesterday. Was there any gook on this thing? Or maybe the line was clogged? Was there any gook? Like, was it clogged, maybe? Um, I have no idea. I just know that, that at the first symptom was uh -huh. this joint. It was spraying out. Okay. Going to that thing, and I looked and saw, hey, that's rusted. That's been doing that for a while. And then, all in about six hours, this thing just rotted. Well, you know what? This was probably already rotted, like just like that one is over here. So obviously, we can't use copper for the condensate. So we're going to change that. But that's all this is. This is just a condensate drain from the heater. Right. Okay. So. Was it sensing that it was losing pressure or something? Why, why was well, it I'm thinking, off, I'm thinking, maybe, I'm thinking maybe this was clogged and then finally it, it gave out and it, once it started oh, dripping freely, that's why it was going off and on. Maybe, and on and maybe. And finally, the pipe rotted and it unclogged and right. the heater stayed working. Maybe what I'll do is I'll pop this off. You can turn your hot water off. Let's turn your thermostat back up. Turn it up to like 80. And we'll make sure that this thing condensates because it should, it should condensate pretty good. All right, you see what we got here. This is no bueno. And a uh, lesson learned here, folks. Uh, so that's that's what I'm thinking happened. I'm thinking perhaps that this condensate line is clogged. Okay. Well, you would know more than me. I'm sure yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's the first time I'm actually seeing this. So. In, your, in, in these units? Uh, actually, I'll be honest with you. I use copper for a condensate line. And maybe uh, I'm going to go back to my manual and look. Make sure that, which I'm going to say, I'm not supposed to use condensate. I've been using PVC as of lately. Right. So, 
We're gonna change the, the PVC. Some acid, huh? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Today, we're heading back to the ugly job, where I use copper for a condensate line on an Avion, and that is no bueno. So make sure, and the tip of the day, make sure you read the instructions in the Navion installation book. It clearly stated after I looked at it to use PVC or CPVC for the condensate only. I did this job two, three, four years ago and I was trying to make it look nice with copper and some ProPress. That was the wrong move. So we're heading back to make the repairs. We'll see you inside. We're back at the scene of the crime. You see what I did temporarily. The copper line fell apart. I'm dumping it in a bucket. This is the line right here. Goes in the crawl space and ties into the one inch PVC line, which we're going to tie back into. And then over here, this pipe, oh there you go, look at this. This pipe here, also all rotted. You see the damage here? Paper thin. No bueno. PVC only. temporary repair <laughs> this is from my toilet pump piece of pex from the truck a little extension heat work fine it for us Piece ten. Oh, yeah. Piece twenty four. Roughly, uh, we'll go thirteen. All right, boys. Let's get a bunch of here. Okay. Now, let's get a bunch of here. Uh, Thirty-one. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Screw 
screw it up, CB. Don't screw it up, CB. Don't screw it up, CB. Oh no, CB. Uh, here comes the artwork right here. Don't spill the glue. Moon pipes through pipes without cutting them. Because you pre fast too early. There we go. Pitch. And we're golden. Strapped up. I should use PVC from the beginning. And for the second line, let's get rid of this joint. Should have been done from the beginning. Off of the chimney, we're going to minus 11 and a half. All right, Or for this piece, I hope I can get in here in one shot. Minus 11 and a half. Oh, ah, I missed the chimney. That's a good one. Bang. Alright, we're on the chimney. 
chill me now. 56 minus 11 and a half is 46. 44 and a half. Five and a half. This guy is smoking cigs like a chimney. He's killing me in here. Smoking's no good. And the apprentice tip of the day. It's cold out here. And when you use this cutter, you gotta go. You gotta cut slow. That's a good cut. If you don't cut slow, it breaks and snaps because the pipe is less than 50 degrees. And that is your apprentice tip of the day. And the number one apprentice tip of the day is read your instructions like I didn't do here. So I'm back here doing this job. I guarantee my work, so I'm doing it for nothing, so. Cause that's what I do. What would you do, plumbers? Alright. What's my measurement? 25 and a half? 25 and a half. Minus the six smoke. Nice and slow. I guess you noticed CB2 is down here today. CB2 finals today. As a fireman, I had to ventilate the building. I opened the back door. I don't care, it's freezing outside. But I can't take the cigarette smoke. Am I soft? Sit on it, see, baby. All right, and okay, this is not going to drag. Okay. This final can 
action. PVC line in. Going down here into the crawl space. I'm going to go in there and make the connections for the second floor unit. First floor unit, same situation. I use three quarter PVC into the crawl space to make the connection. This is the line we're tying back in underneath. So I got a little bit of a crawl ahead of me here outside looking for my keys having a panic attack and guess what fell out of my pocket as you see we have a very nice crawl space heavy duty tarp just gotta make this connection right here baby and we's out awesome that is great news bang all right there's one let's get some glue up in this joker should I put some gloves on Oh, I'm doing. Oh, jeez. Right. Here we go, boys and girls. Oh, no way. Oh, I thought. Guess what? They opened the pipe dope. But guess what? I also brought my glue. Easy weld. Regular body and clear. All right. That's what we like to use. Cleaner and glue. Makes things easy for daddy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I definitely need it. The welds on this detail right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't spill the glue. So one by three quarter reducer. So, 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 so. Uh, nice. Don't cut the cable. Come on. Come on. Come on now, cut. Oh, there it is. Cut no cable. Uh, Oh, 
way out the building with my switch. Okay. That's a wrap. We're out of here. But look at this plant. Look at this. Look at this nice crawl space job here, folks. Look what we got here. Put this all back together here. We're out. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this nice crawl space job. All insulated. Super, super heavy mill plastic. So, moral of the story is, folks, do it right from the beginning. This is no money maker here. I want to show you guys this. I thought I didn't pro press this stuff together, but the pro press. This pulled right out of the fitting. And this one disintegrated here. But you can see I did pro press it. And you see how bad it is. But this one here, now you can see where I pro pressed it. This pulled right out too. Oh look at that, no wonder. There it is. Now I know why. Ate it, ate it right up well you know the more that moral of that story I should have read the instructions on the Navion I did not and it cost me we got her done and uh, how many plumbers have done that I ain't the first time I screwed up but we ain't perfect we're trying every day and we got her done we'll see you at the next one have a great day